Your guns, Ben Gunner, and his professor of fun university in your intrepid hostess. You know that. To Craft Roulette. This is episode 133, and we're excited to have you guys here tonight. If you're watching replay, let us know down in the comments, all that kind of stuff. Thumbs up, let's get it out of the way. If you don't know what Craft Roulette is, and you like card making, stick around because we are the ultimate card making. Ca hmm. We are the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge, and we're here every Friday night at 6.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and we always save a seat for you. Chatterbox, you are on fire as usual. I just love you guys so much to be here. What a nice th Friday to just spend with you. I so, so appreciate you. We have a wonderful guest. We're, you're going to enjoy her. I'm kind of hoping she's in true form. She's promised, she told me like one time she was on a live and she went to shake some paint and the lid wasn't on. So we can always hope for a good time. <laughs> she's laughing right now, kind of giving me the eye. But anyway, I am looking forward to spending the evening with Linda Kanase. Some, she's giving me the, I said it right. Okay, um, anyway, this is Craft Roulette. I don't have any housekeeping, which is good, but I do have some shout outs. Get ready, because I'm going to shout. I do want to shout out to say happy birthday to Crystal Wyckoff. So fun to see your YouTubes looking into uh, your little goodie bag that you won and, and seeing you use it already. Um, birthday, We've got some October patron birthdays to celebrate. Cordelia Alderman, Sharon Lega, I think it's your birthday tonight. So well done. So glad to have you here. Leslie Herman, she is going to be a zero hero on her birthday. And I'm not talking 30. And Patty Beck, our leading lady. Plus, not only that, but tonight, is, or no, tomorrow, is Patty Beck's mother's 93rd birthday. So, so glad to have you, Mrs. Patty Beck, mother, that to um, that you get to share the day with, with your daughter. And she's not going to be with us. That's kind of sad. Um, do want to give another shout out to Deputy Heidi's son. Hope you are have a great um response to your treatment he let her his mom home from the hospital so she could come home to watch craft roulette tonight so that's pretty exciting we're hoping the best for you um want to also give a great shout out to the york family because they all four all four of the family members no pets included sent in a card last week dad mom elise and emma all the two daughters all sent in a card so really really good talking about cards um, oh, to the York family. Four of them right now. Uh, anyway, but to uh, to those slides, a lot of you are already here to see the slideshow that starts at 610. Those cards were all sent in over the last week from last week's parameters. You, <laughs> If any of you ever tell me you're not creative, I'm going to call you liar, liar, pants on fire because you are so full of creativity. And as Lynn Sanders said, it was a very creative week. You really put it on. You really brought the brought the show to life in those parameters life. Mr. Wheel is sitting here just grinning, saying, I know what I'm doing. I know, I know. Do want to give a shout out also to Deputy Heidi for this beautiful pin that she sent for Mr. Mike. Yes, what'd you think of that? That's That means he likes it. So thank you so much, House of Detizio. Once again, we want to thank you for your, your microphone sleeve. Always looking good because of you, Arlene. We um, have some spin sponsors. I'm going to cough just a sec. I'm done. We have some wonderful October spin sponsors, and we want to thank them. We have iCrafter, who we get to meet the I in iCrafter tonight, Linda Kanase. And she, we're hoping, right? Paint. And Sweet November Stamps, Amy Young is also being a spin sponsor. We thank you so very much to give away $25 gift certificates each week in the month of October. To, el to be eligible for that, you must send in a card to our website. Everything's down below. We will talk about that more. L-I-T-S. Later in the show. Let's. We are not sponsored by these wonderful people. I'm, sh I'm sure they would if they could. But we are not sponsored. Craft Roulette it depends on the pledges and the love of our viewers. So if you are interested in becoming a patron... 
That's all down there, too. Just look up Mary Gun Fund. You'll find all sorts of information. We want to welcome two new patrons this week, Heather with Sunflower Fields Designs and Greg Hiltbrand, the Mr. in in Mr. and Mrs. Hiltbrand. He... Um, I think he's a pilot, and so he went ahead and joined up on his own account so that he could send in cards whenever he is available. Instead of just the 48 hours, he goes clear to Thursday night. So that's really cool. Thank you so much, you guys, for helping us out. Big news for all patrons. We do have a entire patron call tomorrow. That means everybody's going to be there. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, you can still sign up and become a patron and join us tomorrow. It's going to be a one o'clock sh- um, deal. It's going to be chaos. We're okay with that. Yeah, it really is. We're okay with that. I don't even have a plan. That's kind of scary, isn't it? I better dream. I'm I'm going to dream something tonight, right? Deadlines are good for Mary. Get deadlines are good for Mary. She gets creative in the shower. It's all all the all those things will happen. So we'll see you tomorrow, patrons. I'm really looking forward to spending some time. There is nothing better than for my little heart and soul to than to spend time with you. I look forward to it. Um, if I it, I'm still working on merchandise. <laughs> I'm like the slowest merchandise creator ever, but I do have a couple pieces that I'm just about ready to to load up. One being for dudes. Oh yes, Mr. Producer said that the price did go up, and that wasn't on us. That was theirs, and I'm sorry. <laughs> we can't do anything about it. We just uh, make it easy and use default and all that. Speaking of Mr. Producer, he is our graphics guy over there and all the programming and all that good stuff that makes us look so really special. Except for the Spoonophones. He really isn't responsible for these. These are mine. So, But he does all the other tech stuff. And we, we are very thankful that he's over there taking care of you. He will watch, if you have some questions or anything, he will watch for your questions in the chat. All right. Whew, gosh, gee, is that enough? Can I take a breath? <sighs> okay, don't need a paper bag. Oh, sacks. That was a great parameter. Did we, did we, were we worried last week? Yes, we were when we got sacks. Remember that response of Ardith? But she, she, oh, <laughs> you guys, uh, if you haven't gone to see the, um, gallery it is fabulous it's very inspiring i love it let's bring on our guest crafter tonight she's ready she's pretty she is linda canasse (laughs) (laughs) don't you just feel better looking at her because she's so cute i do I'm excited to have you. This is your first time to Craft Roulette and as a spin sponsor. So thank you, thank you on two, double double the thank you. Excited to be here. This is really Good. exciting. <laughs> Good. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and iCrafter. How that, we're going to talk a lot more later, but if you could give us the uh, 3,000, whatever that is, viewpoint, what, what, I, bird's eye view. Elevator speech. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yes. So I was the senior product designer at Sizzix for, for years. And there was a big layoff. And so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and was approached um, by someone who said, hey, do you want to design, continue designing dyes? And, well, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I jumped on board and I um, started up this company and it is a labor of love. Totally enjoy it. It's one of those things where I literally have been a crafter. My earliest memory is age four when I was trying to sew something. Um, I even remember trying to, I was so upset because I wanted to use my mom's sewing machine, but I was too short to reach the pedals and see (laughs) over the edge of the sewing machine so um i've been crafting visual forever it's wonderful yeah that's like, that's delightful right yeah. that's just delightful so yeah. do you sew now can you reach the pedal I, barely i'm only five feet one ish so oh. it's like we're yeah. fun size yeah we're yeah. the fun size yeah. people yeah. Yeah. yeah that's right so i would if i had more time i would love to sew more um, I love the, the working with fabric. I'd hoard it 
if I could, and which is dangerous. So, um, right. but I've tried so many things. I've, you know, macrame and um, silk painting and just silk screen, just all kinds of stuff over the years. And um, it, so I'm just absolutely enamored with crafting and paper crafting. The interesting thing too was that I had, I've been scrapbooking since the late eighties. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> and when my, you know, I wanted to do scrapbooks and I just couldn't find anything that was working well. So I, you know, got into scrapbooking, absolutely loved it, fanatical about it. Um, and just kind of kept going. And of course, you know, you have to work for a living. So I was doing all these technical graphic design jobs and mm -hmm. fell into a, you know, paper crafting at Sizzix. And it's like, yes, this is a place where a, I'm supposed to be. So it was a fit. It, yeah, it was all serendipity, if you could explain it that way, just dumb luck. So absolutely. It was your love Cinderella it. shoe moment. Yes. You yes. slipped it on and, and then it, it felt just, very good. Yes. And it's just continued on. Um, but as a small, you know, I don't know if people realize this, we are such a small company that, you know, having to learn how to, you know, where UPC codes come from, how to do a website, <laughs> how to do videos, how to do social media. It's right. a constant learning curve. I mean, right. I can design dyes easily. It's the right. back end stuff that has been a constant learning curve for me so yeah but yeah. fun yeah <laughs> and it's such so many victories we get to have in all those little places yes. too right yes yeah yes. victories we never knew so. we'd have <laughs> right so well we're excited to have you here and thank you so much for being a spin sponsor that's just great well i want to some... thank you too oh our pleasure we love having you here and playing this game every week, 132 times before. So we might as well go 133, right, and see what we get. So what is your favorite card that you hope for tonight? That I don't spill paint on it? <laughs> That's a um, good goal. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, Again, I love interactive cards. That's why so many of my dies are designed as interactive. So I'm hoping for something interactive. Um, my goal is to not, and, and spilling paint is probably a good example, hoping not to do something like that on camera and have it recorded for posterity. That's my goal. Because okay. I just well, have we'll fun. see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll encourage you. Yeah. But, you know, we'll enjoy it if you do. If you do, we're we're all we're all here for you. So we're, you're in a you're in a safe place. It's okay. We've all done it, right, guys? We've all spilled things, sequins, glue, paint. It's all there. We're all in the same oh, boat. Yeah. Whenever yes. you deal with craft supplies, you're gonna you're gonna have some spills. Yes. So it's yes. okay. Whatever happens, what happens, and whatever stays it happens on craft roulette stays on craft roulette. Nothing to do with the internet ever, huh? -uh. So anyway, <laughs> you, uh, we're going to go ahead and celebrate some of our achievements this week because we like to celebrate a lot. And we have so many, so many wonderful people that contribute cards every week. And we like to um, just brag on them a little bit. But you were going to ask me a question first. Yeah. I, you know what? I was just going to ask you, what is craft roulette? I don't know. Let's find out. We'll be right back. What is Craft Roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for. Project, Colors, Element, and Random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on youtube.com slash craft roulette. Please like and subscribe.
Each week, we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. Oh, there we go. go. I'm back. I'm back. That's what we do every Friday evening at 6.30 Central Daylight Time. Almost not daylight time, but... And you are always welcome. We'd love to we love to meet new friends. As a matter of fact, we're going to introduce you to some of our first time contributors. We're going to tell you about our zero heroes of the week. Those are the people that have sent in 10, 20, 30, 40 on up to 90 cards. And then our leading ladies and some new new to Club 52 members. So let's see what happened last week here on Craft Roulette. We had 143 contributions last week, bringing us up to a total of 9,652 cards or projects. Look at you guys all over the world. Chris, where are you? You're not in Ecuador. We miss you. Come back. (laughs) So anyway, it was a fun show. We had Ardeth on. She's always a delight. We asked her a million questions. And she was just such a trooper. She's such a, she's so good at answering and crafting at the same time. It's wonderful. What were those parameters, Mr. Producer? Those parameters were a slimline or mini slimline. You had to use purple and orange plus one other color, and you can always use the craft roulette neutrals. You had to include some kind of element involving sacks. We had sacked football players. We had sacks Fifth Avenue bags. We had trick-or-treat bags by the score. We had saddle bags on, <laughs> on a motorcycle. We had all sorts of creative, remarkable, lovely, wonderful ways that you included sacks. And then um, you had to also include a sequin or gem. My, I used one of our October Spin Sponsor stamps, which is from Sweet November Stamps. I thought it was very cute and very happy. Thank you, Amy, for designing something so nice. There is Artie, Artie Pertha, Ardeth Pertha. Oh, what do you know, that girl, Ardeth. <laughs> Her card, isn't that pretty? She is not, uh, she doesn't go to slim lines very easily. She's a square, four, four and a quarter by four and a quarter kind of a girl, but she did a beautiful card. Um, all of her flowers were ink blended and all that. If you want to see how she made it, just review over on last week's show. She did a great job. She's always a lot of fun. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way, to our Canadian friends. <clears throat> this part's on a timer. <clears throat> oh, ready. First timers, we want to welcome Heather Wint from Florida. Hope you're doing dry. It looks like you kept your paper dry. That's all good. Glad you're here. And Paula W. from Minnesota. So nice to have you guys join us. The first one's the hardest. Our zero heroes are 10 cards from Cindy B. from Minnesota. Very exciting. Mary Jackson, I can't believe you've already sent in 10 cards. That is real cool. Mary Jackson has her own style. I like it. Max Macias has sent in 20 cards. Look at that cool ink blending. April Palmer, who studies craft roulette, has sent in 30 So Alicia Snyder has also, or she has sent in 40. Look at her sack. It's a tree sack. <laughs> Can't beat it. Lisa Hunter has sent in 50, and she's very good at guessing cards. <laughs> she beats us on, wins on Fun University. Rebecca Feltner from Ohio has sent in 60 cards. Isn't that amazing? Camille Ernst has sent in 60 as well. There's her little sack, and it has all eight legs on that spider. Kim Wolf has sent in 70. Kim, that's a pretty big spider. (laughs) (laughs) Melanie Foy from Yuma has sent in 70 as well. Very cool with the texture or the dimension. Heidi Ryan, Deputy Heidi Ryan, has sent in 80. 
her sex kind of hidden. Ava Balan, bless your heart, has sent in 90. Look at that. 90 cards. Oh, girl. And she's so funny. Smurf Murphy is one of our twin contributors with 93 cards. She is a leading lady. Her other twin is Jackie, <laughs> Jackie Muller in South Australia. She is sent in 93 as well. Leading Lady Kathy Herring has sent in 97. Five K Lamone is about to hit her mug club level at 99. So exciting! Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis has hit her mug club, and she has sent in 109 cards consecutively, even with a broken back. Patty Beck, our full longtime leader, with 127 cards consecutive every week. Welcome to Club 52, Cordelia Alderman, who is. Very exciting there to have you. Lisa Welpley has also sent in 52 cards, so they are now in Club 52 that has no benefits, no discounts, no perks, no special lounges, no secret handshakes, but we do have this. So, thank you guys. We do want to celebrate you just because it is exciting and it's very, very special that you would take so much time and spend creating these parameters and sharing with us all because you do inspire us greatly not only in your artistic bents but also just in your longevity and dedication it's remarkable and thank you so much for being a part of our we are not a community we are a culture craft roulette culture and if you are ready linda we'll bring it back are you ready Ready? She's ready, ready, ready so ready. let's welcome back Linda. There she <laughs> is. She was just gone. She was just shaking her head when she was hearing those numbers of the card submissions. That was incredible. <laughs> that I was going to add up all those, and I forgot. But yeah, the oh dedication gosh. that we see is just humbling and wonderful. Very exciting. It's definitely, like you said, definitely a culture. It's amazing. <laughs> Well, we have our own. Uh, we have our own words. We have our own language. We are um, based all over the world, but uh, we do have our own uniform, stretchy pants, and merchandise. <laughs> so all sorts of things. I don't know. We're just kind of a bunch of crazy, crazy crafters and craftettes. But that's okay. We, it, we found a safe place to be, haven't we? <laughs> so yeah, they really. It's a great group, and I'm very, very. Glad to be a part of it. So, well, you know, we've done the chit chat part. We've asked what craft really is. Can you do this? Like, raise one lip and lower the other? Almost. <laughs> you know, I I can't do it the other way. So, but I have a great picture of. Um, well, maybe nobody else would think it was great, but I have a great one of my favorite pictures is with my husband's uncle and we're we're both doing this it was like we are Pete, we are the we are both in-laws and we are both capable of being on the edge of being kicked out of the family so anyway this is the time we're going to start talking about the parameters are you ready bring them on mr yeah. producer there they are, project, colors, element, and random. We will be spinning four times to decide what we're going to work with tonight. We do um, we do have to use all four of the parameters, but it is an art project, and we encourage and love to see. It's not necessary, but it, we encourage and love to see how you stretch those parameters to the very limit of propriety and um, give us some sneaky ideas and just make us go, oh at that but we also love a good clean classic card so there's places for everybody you don't have to be hit the card out of the park you can just do a good clean classic card too because we all need to have that in our repertoire too but it is a creative expression and that's what we want to see we don't tell you how to cut anything where to put anything what products to use or nothing we don't sell we don't teach we're just going to create <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in, let's do it. Um, we do 
I told you about our patrons. So our patrons get to vote a couple of vetoes every week. And so for color this week, they decided no white background number three. For that doesn't mean that you can't use a white background unless we get something like black background, then you have to use that. But generally you can still use a white background depending on what we get. Uh, for element, they said smile or smiles. No thank you, number 10. And that doesn't mean that you can't smile when you're making your card. You can. You can. We hope you will. And for random, <laughs> I threw this one in to see if they still hate it. They do. Paperclip. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> Mr. Producer already knew it. Hey, you guys just hate paperclip so much. <laughs> it's like robot. You hate robot, you hate purse card, and you hate paperclip. <laughs> but I still like you. I do. Kiss your brains. <laughs> so this is the time we ask Linda. Hey, Linda, would you like to veto something? Um, I think you... You had chalkboard? I did. I Did I take it off? I may have taken it. Nope, it's still there. Number five. On element. Would you like chalkboard yeah. off? That means no if we do land on one of those parameters, we'll spin again. Why don't you like chalkboards? Do you, is it the fingernail thing? <laughs> no, it's just um, I didn't have in my head, I didn't have anything like an idea for that. So... I don't have chalk paints. I don't have chalk boardy type Fair stuff. Enough. So it's Fair a supply, enough. supply and no demand. <laughs> <laughs> you are in a safe place once again. All right. Well, let's give this bad boy a warm up. See how he's feeling tonight. He does. He likes to go. Okay. We're going to give you something a little bit unusual, maybe sometimes, but you can always figure it out for project. What shall we make Linda? Okay. Hi, Ann Schmidt. I'm glad you've been looking forward to this. I have two. Number seven, a four by six mini chubby. Four by six. It's okay. like a mini okay. slimline, except eats donuts. Colors. So he's a little chubby. Fourteen white, blue plus two plus our craft roulette neutrals, which are black, gray, brown, tan, cream, metallics. Uh, is there anything else? White. I think that's it. I think that's it. If I forgot something, let me know. <laughs> and for element, we will be talking about all these, and so that we can get some ideas going. What do you guys? My um thing hasn't been scrolled in a long time. Number eleven, floral cluster. You have some beautiful floral cluster products. So I think you'll be good with that. And then random, no paper clip. White, blue, plus two. That rhymes. Number 21, squeakles. Squeakles. That's kind of a fun one, isn't it? You know, one of yeah. my favorite randoms was confetti. Was what? confetti it just mm. made it all the cards were fun and happy not a one oh, of yeah. them was a sourpuss card at all it was just all happy because <laughs> you can't put <laughs> confetti into a card and have it bummer not be yes yeah it's so, just a good time i have been trying to figure out what a mini chubby and a four by six mini chubby Little chubby and a four by six mini chubby. Well, you what know, I probably that? have them on twice and I just didn't realize it. <laughs> I probably have the same card on once with the name and once without because there's like a lot of numbers up there and I just probably no, no problem, it. but I don't even know what a little chubby is. So it's a, it's for I'm a little chubby. <laughs> you know what? Trying to search for little chubby is yeah, no, I made it up. I made it up. Oh, that's why. It's, okay. That's why. Yeah, that's why. When You know, I'll be famous when you can look up, you can Google, <laughs> like that's a real little, big goal here, uh, Little Chubby, and it goes, Mary Gunn made this up in 2000 whatever. And uh, yeah, it's a Mary, you know, I used to have a National Mary Gunn Fun Day. 
I did. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> all the problems that the, we'll go into analysis later. Therapy. Let's go into project. So a four by six is just a smaller card, right? It's going to be six inches by four inches. You can make it either landscape or portrait, whichever you want. So the, it's going to be like a 12 by 12 cut into eight by 12 or whatever. And it's just, it still fits in to um, like a mini business size card or envelope. But I think, I think it is. And um, I may be making that up, <laughs> but I think wait, it wait, is. Wait. But four, so, four so the by ca- six. So the card itself is four by six. Yeah. So now, I- let's go through that just a little bit more because you can't, we have w- two ways of looking at things. We can have the literal Google, hey, Google, what is a four by six are a little chubby and google will say well on because of national merry gun fund she made up this card about this is a mini slim line that retains donuts and it's called a little chubby and it's four by six but or you can think of another way to have a four by six and work it into another size a four by six would fit on a five by seven so if you want to have something that is 4 by 6 on a 5 by 7 or something along those lines, hey, we're all about it because this is a creative experience here. That's why we wear our pants loose. So we can stretch ourselves. <laughs> so you're going, that's why did I come on the craft for that? Yeah. So that's, that's what that is. You, is that good? Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. All right, colors are white, blue, plus two. That means you have to include white, you have to include blue, and two other colors. You can't include more. Plus the craft roulette neutrals, which are black, gray, white, brown, tan, cream, ecru, whatever you want to call it, and metallics. That's what we throw in just for good measure because we're kind. And those can be additional. They can be additional, but you don't have to use those. But there, are, you know, it's hard to make a card without some neutral. So that's that's that. What do you like with what comes? Okay, so we got floral cluster. That was pretty easy. Floral cluster. Yeah. It can be like the main part of the card, or you can have a little floral cluster inside of a with right. dogs or cats or whatever you like. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. However, you want to use that floral cluster is up to you. Okay. So, what is? Do you like bright blue or dark blue? What do you think? I tend to love really bright colors, so a bright blue would be nice. That's what I'm thinking. But uh-huh. do you do you also include shades? Is that a totally different color? Yes. Do you do shades of blue? Yes. Um, generally, we say like if you're doing. Here, you oh, here we go. We're going to end. It. So if you have blue, you have all those different shades. You don't have to stay with like the whole. Um, totally saturated blue. You don't have to stay okay. with the blue tint. You don't have to do with blue shade. You can do the whole spectrum. But we wouldn't like it as much if you use this blue and this blue and say, oh, well, it's blue, violet, or whatever. Just yes. kind of stay in the yeah. color family. Okay. Okay. That was an excellent question, and I thank you. <laughs> so blue, I, well, it depends on what what I'm going to do, but use how I'm going to use my floral cluster, but White, blue, plus two. Since it's fall, I can't help but want to put a little orange and yellow or red or something like that. What do you think? Well, orange would be really good with it. I think just Mm -hmm. because it goes well with blue. Um, Mm -hmm. In my head, I'm trying to think, you know, what, how to do that. So, (laughs) (laughs) you know, that kind of... Comes with when you decide the project sometimes it'll go, oh, yes. yeah, this will work out better than the other because it's hard to imagine some of those colors when you need. And then you get in there and you go, you've already used four colors and then you think, oh, my gosh, I forgot this or that. And now, now I'm stuck. So floral clusters, are you, you said interactive. Does this tickle your interactive bone? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Working okay. on it. All right. Well, you do have remarkable um, dyes for interactive cards. And Thank by you. the way, yes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, looky what I got. Some little eye crafter dies with kitties and puppies. I'll show them to you here in just a little bit. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Um, and for random. And so anyway, floral cluster, you can fit it in with something else. You can make it the main part. You can make it background. We're, we're not picky, but it does have to be included somehow. And if you do put something and you're trying to hide it from us and be clever, that's fine. <laughs> Just put it in the description so we don't sit there and go, I don't know. Did they do it? I don't know. I don't see nothing. So anyway, it's always fun to look first and then read second. Squiggles. Squiggles. <laughs> There's the look. There's always a, one of those looks and during the parameter <laughs> debriefing. Squiggles are just what... I I thought they'd be like li some little line somewhere, a little squiggly line. You could have a worm in a in a flower cluster. They're yeah, kind of squiggly. Yeah. yeah. They're kind of squiggly. Okay. Or a border. Is... Or some little stamen, squiggly stamens coming out of a flower. Mm -hmm. What are you guys saying? Oh, Art says squiggles are easier than a sack. <laughs> You could have put some squiggles on a sack. The top of the sack was kind of squiggles. Yeah, the top of the sack. Yeah, Sardith, you did have the look one with the sack last week. Hey, Somebody Artith, who I'll was I'll trade it? you. I'll trade you. I know something for the sack. I don't know something for the squiggle. You'll all come up with something. Hey, there's Michelle Lupton in the chatterbox, too. She will be here next week. So make sure that you say hi to her and uh, our... And which one, Michelle, you can tell us which one you wish you'd had for next week, because these won't be on the board next week. So, anyway. All right. All right. So, we can figure in those squiggles. Those will be, we'll figure out a way. We'll figure out a way. But um, we're going to break for just a few minutes and, and get our supplies. You got some ideas, right? Excited yep. to go you get your supplies. And while we do that, we'll treat you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, crafters and craftettes, to an infomercial on my other project, Fun University. Let's go. Okay. Do you find crafting hard? Are you stuck on one of those pesky parameters? Do you feel like the wheel is watching you while you craft? We have the solution for you. Hi, I'm Mary Gunfun. While I'm busy gathering my supplies, I just wanted to tell you about my other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fun university. We break down the parameters and talk about them at a more in-depth level. We also pick one tricky one to concentrate on and do a deep dive into it. <laughs> but that's not all. We do our mail call every week on the channel as well. So if you wanted to send me a card or a package, send it to this address and I'll share it on the show. We're live almost every Tuesday night on youtube.com slash fununiversity. We also do some celebration there because we will review our last week's achievement board. That's youtube.com F-U-N-N University. No easy or complicated payments. No COD. Just show up and have fun. If you have too much fun, please call a friend immediately and invite them over to have fun with you. Normal postage and handling rates do apply. This ad was not paid for by anybody. We hope Mary is ready because I can't stretch this out any longer. Now back to the show. There we are. That is Fun University. We are live every Tuesday. And you know, we made that wonderful little infomercial and it's already out of date. Sheesh. We don't keep with nothing for very long. No moss grows around here. Anyway, you know, that moss growing on a stone has a different meaning, I think, than what I always thought it was, but I don't remember what it is. So, so what? So anyway, you can look it up. <laughs> Google it. What does ro no, no moss gathers on a rolling stone mean? It was just completely different. So different that I can't remember. Okay, these are my options tonight. I have... 
a floral cluster. Yay. And that is that would be the easiest. Please vote for that. And then, or we can make, um, there's no real, yeah, I can make a floral cluster using a pot or something along those lines. And that might be kind of pretty too. That's not as easy. But, you know, she's saying, she is saying um, interactive. So I may have some time. What do you think of that? I might have some. Good night, Ardith. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was nice to have you. Did you know it was Thanksgiving in, in Canada? I didn't either. If you sit around, you grow moss. It was something different, though, Angela. It was just the opposite, and I can't even think of what the opposite would be because <laughs> it's been a long day. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. And Sire, happy Thanksgiving Day to you, too. I don't know. I can't quite relate to Thanksgiving this time of, this time of the year. I'm so, so American, <laughs> which makes sense. A uh, four by six card. It can be Kendra. You could also be put a four by six something on a five by seven. Hey Linda, I think your paper came. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Am I going to have room? Well, maybe Arlene. <laughs> we'll find out if I'm going to have room. You know what I think I'm going to do? Actually, is even cut something a little smaller. You might have to rejoin from your iPhone. So let's see. So, the, yep, I thought you guys did really well last week on the parameters. The um, way that you use sacks with burlap and um, sacks around the trees and stuff like that. We do Anyway, on Fun University, we do have a new game where we do some, we do some reviewing of the parameters and some cards that you guys send in. And then, uh, what else do we do? We also, then I make a card based on one of the cards that has been sent in. And you get to guess who was the creator of the card. <laughs> so it's really fun. And I got better. The first couple of weeks, it was too easy. Now I'm learning how to be sneakier. <laughs> so Lisa Hunter won, I think, two out of four. But um, it's been fun to develop that idea. So I don't know. This is an old standard for me. I can put some big flowers on there. I think I see your seaweed. I oh, think no, it'll no, be okay. I might just cut, stamp a bunch of stuff and and put put it on. Yeah, I think I might just cut out parts. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just start. Let's just start something, shall we? Do you guys all like flowers like I do? We're supposed to have a frost tonight. Yikes. Not so crazy about that. But what can you do? Yeah, that's a good point, Rosie. How many flowers does it take to be a floral cluster? I think three sounds good. At least three. Smartest group of crafters and craftettes ever. I know. Flor we haven't had any florals in a while. I'm pretty excited about it. I like them. Okay, so blue. i got to figure out this thing. So. Uh-oh, if you look up how many in a cluster, it starts giving you math. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Producer just said if you start look, if you look up how many in a cluster, it starts giving math. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Forget that nonsense. <laughs> no, it's you, math. We'll leave that for the people that know what they're doing. White. Paprika. Maybe some. Yeah, I'm, no, th think I'm thinking some. Uh, just some kind of fall, a fall cluster. With florals, man, this is a bummer. I want more colors. Blue. Okay, so what do I do for green? I don't. It was blue plus two, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go. Okay, so here's, 
I'm going to go with darker colors because I can stamp them twice and get two shades. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And then we have our neutrals. So she's almost ready. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to count out the parts and see how that goes. What the heck, huh? Let's do it. You can make leaves blue. Yes, you're right. You're right, Amanda. I could make my leaves blue, but I want to make my... Maybe I don't want flowers to be blue, though, do I? So maybe back to this. That will be pretty. I think we're good. Thanks for setting, setting me straight after all that. That's good. All right, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the Linda. The Linda. We'll bring you in. We'll bring you in. She's about ready, I think. Let's bring her in so what she's got up her sleeve. There she is. <laughs> I'm going to try this. What did you come up with? Well, since you said blue, and I mm -hmm. was thinking about forget-me-not oh, flower, flowers, so I'm going to mm -hmm. do forget-me-nots, which are blue, I think, and see what I get. So, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of forgetting a lot right now. I just want to say... me not flowers are blue, aren't they? I think they no, are. No, no. I'm not using any paint. Using a little ink, but no paint. <laughs> so I shouldn't be spilling anything. Aw, shucks. I was kind of hoping. But that's okay. You got to stay safe. It's okay. <laughs> we, we're, we're glad you're here. Whether you spill I paint or not. I could only embarrass myself so many times. I know. Isn't that the truth? Oh. <laughs> we can only be entertaining so many ways. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, that'll be good. We'll be fine. So, are you fast at this or are you slow at this? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. I'll let you know after we're done. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a plan. You got to remember, and... too, you've been doing this. This is my first time. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It's 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 a deal. <laughs> You're just fine. You're just fine. It, it really is different. I was going to say, I kind of know what I'm doing, but I could be way off. <laughs> Well, we'll know in about 40 minutes. And that'll be fine. Yes. But I think you're going to be okay. Okay. Card you done. just holler if you're something that doesn't make sense. Okay. And we just introduced our machine, so I'm going to be using that. All so, right. That's good. And let's see. Hi. That's not quite. You know what we might do on that? I might go all elegante and use some some gold for my squiggle lines. Here we go. Oh. I like my squiggle line so far. Oh, how cute! Yes. Yeah, they're, they're going to give a little bit of detail. And I didn't even think that when I first started doing the squiggly lines. Ah, that's good. Just in case. Do one more. I think that I got this from you, Amanda, from Pear Blossom. Does that look familiar? Your beautiful gold pen. <laughs> okay, Amanda will remember the spill paint. <laughs> <laughs> spill, Amanda. So, did she hold her act together or did she just 
get real excited and laugh. <laughs> I would just get excited and laugh, I'm afraid. Okay. Because I have inappropriate laughter disorder. And un <laughs> it is an unofficial syndrome that I have. Nobody has ever declared a disease, a disease or anything, but when I... I just start laughing when something isn't really very funny. Okay, I think I'll come back in with some pink pencil. Oops, there goes my pencil. I'm trying to stay within the colors. That's not quite right. When Linda gets her, she's going to get going here in a little bit, and we have some patron questions for her, so we get to know her better. But we're just letting her get a little bit used to the the surroundings here. <laughs> Craft, crafting it's, under the gun. <laughs> it's right, under the merry gun fun. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So we think there might be a skunk in the neighborhood, which is dangerous. Oh, jeez. Our dogs get real crazy, and they got real crazy in the middle of the night. And what then opened up the do door, have? and you could smell it. It was bad. Uh, we have an 80-pound Aussie. This isn't really showing up. We have an 80-pound Aussie and a, an 80-pound Lab Pit Mix. Boomer. <laughs> and he's he's the sweetest sweetest dog in the universe oh. and he he's a lap dog his happy place is when my husband and i are sitting on the couch together and he's has his head on his lap and his rear right by me he's just so happy oh. he's just adorable And he just loves his little routine. He loves to have, check his boxes every day. So he doesn't miss his cookies and he doesn't miss his walks and all those things. He's very regimented on his love life. Ah. He's a good boy. So you have a dog, and is he still there, still sleeping? Uh, she she actually went upstairs, so we're not going oh, to hear okay. her um, snoring or <laughs> rattling her chains. <laughs> oh, no, I kind of was hoping we would, because we do like the dogs. Here, I'll show you guys these dies, now that I've got this here. Look at these cute dies. Doggy doggies, huh? Yeah. Those. Puppy love. And the kitties. Feel like happy. Just adorable. And they're they're just real and they're pretty dyes too. They're blue. So they're real pretty. And those are by iCrafter. Just just a good deal. You're very talented. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I want to know about how you come up with your designs if you if your dog is is your dog part of your inspiration? Actually, my dog donates a lot of her fur so that every <laughs> bit of tape I ever use has a piece of fur on it. I have Bravo. no idea how I could open up a brand new roll of tape and there's fur. Um, oh, gosh. Actually, do I do a lot of uh, trend research, like what's trending, what people like, and what's coming up. So uh -huh. I just kind of try to stay on that. Um, and then the other thing, too, is things that I personally, I want to play with, you know. So <laughs> It's not, it's kind of not all um, about somebody else just doing like what you want, right? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm on a card that pops up and does this. Uh-oh, we lost the camera again. Oh, brother. Eunice is visiting. Hold on. We'll be. We'll get you. You'll get you. Um. I think you know, these are watercolor pencils, and I'm very tempted to go ahead and add water, but I think at the same time I 
should do that on my own time in case it all goes bad. There's a bit of a glare here, so. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Are we good? Working on it. Working on it. Okay. We'll get her back, guys. <laughs> now, Mr. Producer will say there have been very, very few nearly perfect technical shows. So, how are we going to fight that? We're not, we're not trying too hard to have that happen. And once, once the mistake happens, then it's all, it's all okay. <laughs> it's already done. It's not perfect anymore. We can relax and just, just enjoy. There you go. We've already done it. So the pressure's off. <laughs> you know, though, I may not use a water pen, but I could use a... I could use a glitter or some shimmer here. Now, couldn't I? I think that's pretty with the shimmer. It's kind of blending that watercolor pencil. Do you need me a little closer? Maybe. There we go. There were some there were some homecoming games tonight. I noticed my, the old school system that I worked with had their homecoming tonight. So I hope they everybody has a great night. When did you ever do homecoming kind of stuff, Linda? Like in the oh, high schools and oh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was in my whole fun thing with I was in drill team in high school way back when, and uh -huh. um, just had a blast. And just recently, in fact, a couple of weeks ago, um, someone from my class um, got a whole bunch of us, you know, about twenty of us together. And we hadn't seen each other in, you know, in years. And it was just Aww. nice to do an informal, you don't have yeah. to dress up, you don't have to pay a fortune and just see each other. So it was fun. Right. It was amazing. So, and of course, I had a lot of friends, especially there too, was, um, they were like cheerleaders and homecoming court. And it's like, okay, oh, wow. that's why I thought oh. of it when you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's so, real nice. Did you grow up in Southern California then? Yep. I'm a, actually uniquely a native Angelino. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, city of. So okay. That's well, that really is weird. unusual. That's cool. Yeah. We went to a Dodgers game <laughs> a couple of years ago. It was really fun. But their hot dogs are dumb. awful. Oh my gosh, I, I was quite impressed. I'd been like waiting for a hot dog. And, hey Linda, will you hit and it was just, phone really it was bad. awful. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're working on some confirmed. details with Mr. Producer and tech. Oh. It's tough, this old tech stuff. I'm hitting okay. It's not doing anything. It is okay. just something. Okay, hit okay. She's trying. We <laughs> want her to come back. Huh. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I believe. If everybody believes, just clap. I believe in Linda Fairies. Nothing happened. Okay, let's start cutting these out and see what happens. Yes, please. Because oh, it's, it's, re it's really going slow right now. Oh, sorry, guys. And then this will be the last time we mess with it. We'll just have to live with it. Just never know what that old tech's going to do. Friday nights are kind of dicey sometimes. I sent you in your email and copy it into your browser. Okay, so we're going to have something yeah, like fine. that, you're, and then we'll build some the screen, so. We'll build some stuff around it. Then we'll bring in some little tiny stamps and some leaves. I think this is going to work out. 
just fine. There's kind of textury with those squiggles. <laughs> squiggles! I remember when I put that on the parameter board and I, I don't know what will happen with that, but this is how I'm using it. She's working on it. <laughs> we don't want to miss her. And I don't even think she spilled any paint. <laughs> We're not having clean up there. That's right, Grandma Gay. Eunice, leave us alone. Eunice is our scapegoat for all technical problems. She is an actual character. She's a cartoon character. And um, she's a mess. So what is my colors on my pot, asked Orchard Girl. It is um, a brown, and I've added two more browns. For some with some colored pencil or some watercolor pencils. Yeah. Yep, yep. Eunice is our personal gremlin. <laughs> she. Oh, that would do it. She is a mess. That would absolutely do it. Yes, Eunice is now asking for a software update. I'll keep you up to date. <laughs> but uh, Eunice is asking for a software update for sweet Linda. Darn her. Oh, you got your original Eunice today in the mail, 5K? Congratulations. Did you like it? <laughs> I don't think I've ever sent a Eunice card before. But I did. I sent you one. <laughs> so you might. That's funny. If you want to work on your card and let it update real fast, we can do that. We're Maybe just. After it's done updating. I'm trying Well, this is going to be a pretty flower cluster. Yes, it's coming in. Bingo! She's coming I in. Hope, I hope it works. You even had a happy dance? <laughs> I love that, 5K. That software update, if, if you don't do it. So I was in a in a business today and the lady there was a lady that was like taking care of people in this business, this place, and she was so good. And um I was I called her five star <laughs> and so I said something to a coworker, one of her coworkers, and said, I think you mean she said something about Ebony and I said, Oh, you mean five star? And I think she may have a new name. <laughs> so it's pretty good. 5K, turn, turn the off on five star. Yeah, I can hear Mr. Producer. Eunice is in. She's rolling it tonight. She likes being a part of the show. I've never invited Eunice on. She always just comes on her own. Really rude. Super rude. I'll probably... You know, I might do a blue it. here. Doing, it, okay, How about? You want to hook up your other phone real fast? I think I'm going to do a blue background. Even, even with the flicker, the software update is just going to kill it. Sorry, guys. We're having some real... Eunice is really just large and in charge right now. Yeah. We'll, we'll show her what's what. And uh, right now it needs to... There you go. Yep. You know, while we're sitting here, though, yeah, I'll tell you. Um, Tuesday, when we did our cards over on Fun University, we talked about using brown paper sacks. And these were my cards, and they turned out so pretty. Anyway, I thought they turned out real pretty. <laughs> At least that sounds kind of snotty. But I thought they turned out real pretty. So go. just using a brown paper sack. We're back. We're back. Okay, we do have a little flicker here, but that's that's what we're gonna get tonight. So it's not spilled paint <laughs> yet. Do you have any paint on your desk? I so have do, ink pads. But so you could so, conceivably flip one over, right? Oh yeah. Oh good. You're gonna jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we just like ya. That's all. We just want you to have a good night, and we don't want you to feel pressure. There's enough. 
Not pressure. Well, something, you know, the fact that I anticipate a catastrophe, it's <laughs> like, okay, been there, done that, got through it. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipation is almost always worse than the actual event. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes not. <laughs> but oftentimes, yes. So this is going to be my blue background. That's how we're doing it. Oh my how goodness, I just finished up here. 170 Christmas cards. Wow. Are you doing on time? I'm like, yeah. Well, we don't have a shutoff. Nobody comes in and shuts the lights off, so we're fine. In that case, <laughs> what do you think? I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, good. That's, that's what we want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Any excuse to get to sit and craft is fun to me, so. But wait, you have a crafting company. Isn't that what you do all day? You know, <laughs> I wish I could say yes, but if you think about it, there's, you know, the, the, all the other tasks. Um, yep. If I had a huge staff, then yeah, right. I'd be. <laughs> right. You guys go do this while I just play. So I was talking to my daughter this week, and she's a photographer, by the way. I hope she broke her leg tonight with, with her opening. She had a new show downtown. And um, she said, how, how much, uh, what percentage of my time do you think I take with making or just taking photograph photographs? I can't talk. And I thought, I thought about it because I was basing on what I do. Because that's the only thing I had to go on. And um, so I said 5%. And she said, close. 4% is basically her how much time she takes. She spends taking photography or taking pictures. And the rest is all admin and yeah, all the things. Yeah. So it's, it really is different. It's okay, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, my two favorite things are designing the product and making projects. So, mm -hmm. like, having time to make projects, that's the best. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're starting to be able, you're getting to a place where I think you can chit-chat a little better. Would it be okay if I asked you some questions from our patrons? Sure. All right. Sure. Because we have some great, the best interview questions from our patrons. It's really uh -oh. good. Do I get to choose one that I don't have to ask? No. <laughs> to veto? You know, we've only had one guest veto pick, veto one really? question. And they just said, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so we said, okay, fine. <laughs> it's not, um, it's whatever. But I don't think you'll find any of these terribly um private or anything it'll be fine oh okay. so um patty beck our leading lady with a hundred million cards that she has sent in week after week after week she started with us at a uh, episode five and she has okay. not missed a week since but she asks and it sounds like we may have already heard this but what was your very first crafting project now we heard about the sewing how about paper? And we heard a little bit about your scrapbooking. You want to tell us more about your paper experience? You know what I remember? It was I know it was elementary school, and it was a project. And I, I don't know if this is going to date me, but they gave you little itty bitty squares of tissue paper in all different colors, and you'd roll them into bunch them into a ball. And then you'd glue those down into like a mosaic and you'd make something. I remember that. And uh -huh. I think that was my horse stage. So I may, may have made a horse. I don't know. <laughs> but I remember doing that. I actually, you know hold on one second. I have something I made. Let me see. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep up with the cr the uh, chatterbox too well, but I look forward to reading your comments over the weekend. That'll be good. Looks like you're having a nice evening. 
I'm glad. Okay. So I've all, don't ask me why. This was one of an early thing that I sewed. It's a little bunny rabbit, stuffed bunny oh. rabbit. And I, okay, I wasn't good at making dresses. So it's a piece of felt <laughs> with holes cut out for arms. Right. But if you hold him flat so we can see his oh, little, we're camera. getting the Sorry. top view. Yeah. And hold then over right just a little bit. There you go. Oh, there. So it's made, really cute. This, yeah. So this was my early bunny rabbit project. And I mean, I like it was, it. I think it's all hand sewn. The dress was probably glued, this. but it was all hand sewn. And that was just <laughs> proof that I was making funny, strange things. Um, but yeah, so did that answer paper crafting stuff? Yeah, it's fine. You, that's kind of like one of your first crafting projects. And I'm pretty impressed that you still have it. Yeah. And you handy. Know? Isn't that even weirder? It's handy. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe, you know, I keep, I have all my art stuff in this one room. I don't think, I've got a few things out on the other, in the other part of the house, but not too much. Oh my not gosh, look at Most your project's right almost done. I'm not, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to keep working and then relax and, and when I get done, okay. but I'm not in any hurry. Okay. I'm trying. No, you're fine. You're fine. We, we're here for the duration. Jay Thomas, patron D Jay Thomas asks, how did you wind up owning a crafting business? Which I think we also covered a little bit. Yeah, it, it was... I think it was mainly because um, I want to say it was, it truly was just being kind of at the right place at the right time um, when when they were closing or they laid off it for all the art people. No, let me start, let me backtrack. So I sure. started at Sizzix as a graphic designer, right? That's my uh college degree is in graphic design. So I was doing packaging for them. And I did packaging and catalogs for um, a lot of their licensed designers. And um, and then and then I had a friend who was working there and she was um, doing, cleaning up dyes for people and she was getting backlogged. And so I had some free time and I asked her, you know, can I help you? And she taught me some of the stuff on how to do it. And like, okay, mm -hmm. so I learned how to, the rules of drawing dies. So yeah. that was kind of fun. And then one day it, it was, and I'm not sure how it happened, but it came about that I was one of only two people in the company who knew how to draw dies. And I was designing for one of the licensed designs. So I would I so I went into the the uh, supervisor and I said, I want to be a dye designer because I craft, I have designed some and and uh, she asked me, Can you draw? And I said yes. And she goes, Okay, bring me some drawings. So I spent the weekend drawing a whole bunch of stuff, cats and hamsters and flowers and stuff, and took it into her. And she said, okay, you're, you're a product designer. And, um, voila. And then it became, huh? Voila. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. and then it became a fact of they needed to hire more product designers. So they made me senior product designer because oh. I already knew. And that was like the most fun time and then they had the um the, the layoffs and like oh literally someone contacted me and asked you know you enjoy doing this you want to do more and i was yes indeed uh -huh. set, set me up what, what do i need to do that's kind of so a that's is, another little cinderella story <laughs> If you're in your Cinderella been. shoes, your glass slippers. Uh, it sounds ideal for it, somebody it that was. likes that. It, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's that thing too, um, because in setting up, setting up um, everything for, you know, doing this business, I had to learn not just, not just, 
you know, I mean, I knew how to design dies and I knew how to draw stamps, but to actually build a website, make it function yeah. in the, you know, as a business to, um, you know, do all the things that you realize you have to do to make it work. That right. was kind of scary, kind of interesting, yeah. kind of scary. And just trying to figure that out yeah. was hard. Yeah. Okay, I have to right. run and get one more die. I'll be right okay. back. Yep, websites are scary. That's why we have Mr. Producer. If you are new here and you've never been to craftroulette.live, we do have a really great website and uh, there's a ton of information and all the ba all the past episodes and lots of good stuff on it. Don't miss it. And if you are interested in learning about some of the bonus content over on our Patreon, there's also a link there. We have such fun things as a card exchange that is has like three or four levels of security so that you're, we don't send your address out to the public. Um, we have all, all sorts of, oh, what else do we have over there? Oh, we have now, we have the galleries that you can build, which I've built multiple ones. They're really fun. I even have a, a gallery of the 1.65%, which is what we fondly recall or call our um, male viewers. Because <laughs> we didn't have very many for so long. Really a long time. <laughs> so, it was just us girls. Oh, is Ashley and Harrison leaving? It was nice to have you. I'm, I hope you had a good evening. I hope he sleeps all night. We're going to throw in some of these guys. What are all those little circles? What are you going to do with all those little squiggly circles? Ooh, those are squiggles? Oh, no. They are squiggles. <laughs> it doesn't say that. ink yeah. squiggles. It just says squiggles. Yeah. Um... I saved myself. No, those are going to be <laughs> the flowers, the rolled flowers. Ah. So, yeah. so those are, again, in my head, they're going to be the rolled flowers. Now. There you go. There you go. So you do a lot of imagining of your projects that may or may yep. not end up the same way? Exactly. <laughs> That's my story. I'm sticking to it. it. Well, it's not a it's not an unusual story, I don't think at all. Most people would be the same kind of thing. You you plan it a certain way and then you pivot. Right. You have to pivot. <laughs> because it just okay. doesn't always translate out your hand. Correct. As it as it looked in your brain. But the best is Things that you design may or may not turn out. This is so true. The other thing so true. I can do. Okay. I know I can. How am I doing, Deputy Heidi, on my colors? Am I doing okay? She had to go. Oh, she had to leave? Okay. Oh, my goodness. She's a busy girl. Well, Deputy Heidi is the one that calls me out if I'm making a mistake. So okay. if Deputy Heidi's not here, we can play harder. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the I'm just gonna take the flower and these are our tweezers and I'm just gonna roll them. So they're just gonna turn into rolled flowers. Oh, kinda like that tissue paper from youth. Exactly. Yeah, you haven't just come a little too far. <laughs> Kind of, kind of staying in your safe place, right? Safety. You know, but honestly, if you liked it as a kid, the, our chain, our our tastes do mature. Yeah, but a lot of the same things. Are still I do there. have this. This, um, you know what it is too. It's the colors of the um tissue that I loved because they would yeah. give you all these different colors. Oh, so, so pretty. <laughs> So pretty. Oh yeah. Just give me the I'm, colors I'm, and nobody gets hurt. 
And it's true. Speaking of color, people that like colors, Team Rainbow, Crafty Owl loves the rainbow thing. And she's at Tailored Expressions um, Stamp Joy this weekend. So if she watches this, I want you to say hi. I'm glad you're having a good time. Hope she's having fun. She said she was having a blast earlier today. So I bet she's well, carrying on. Yeah, they were going to have Stamp Olympics tonight. For their entertainment, wow. and I know that she played last year, last time. So, I'm scared <laughs> so, to ask what that is. I don't even remember. I saw it, but I don't remember <laughs> what it what they did. Bonnie Swakowitz has already submitted. Bonnie Swakowitz. Okay, guys, let me just tell tell you for a moment. Bonnie Swakowitz has sent in lots of cards and she 90 was this, this is her zero hero week congratulations but she not only just sends in these cards she sends in these well flowers are her thing flower clusters if you are a patron and you want to know about flower clusters you can go to uh, the new gallery developer thing and um just put in bonnie swakowitz which is not an easy name to spell but try, and then uh, you will see all of her cards will come up, and they're they're just stinking gorgeous. She just has a really a, elaborate, beautiful tech uh, style that I don't I can't do. So I just way to go, and I'm so glad that you've reached ninety. That's that's good. That's Won't amazing. Won't be long till you're in the mug club. <laughs> you mug clubber. The Mug Club, we keep having to think of things to say thank you for being such an awesome contributor to the, the gallery and show and, and culture. And so the Mug Club is when you have submitted 100 cards. You get a mug that <laughs> has your name on it. And um, has been, I, I designed it. And Mr. Wow. Producer and I both signed it. <laughs> so it's yeah, I know. I know. What are you going to do? Oh, thank you, Ellen. I do have that down there. So, Linda, I did ask you <clears throat> earlier to consider what team you were going to declare, whether you were a team orange or a team purple kind of girl. And oh. what did you think of? I did thought about up? it long and hard. I knew it. <laughs> and I I think I'm more team purple. Really? I, I think was gonna so. Say, I thought maybe you might say orange, but that's okay. Well, I mean, again, being trained in art, it's one of those things where, you know, it depends. Like mm -hmm. clothing, what color would you wear? Or if you were to have you know, decorate, put a painting up in your house. What color would you want? Yeah. So I I kind of went with more with the um, kind of like clothing. I would wear purple more than I would orange because it just kind of isn't my color normally mm -hmm. of, of what clothing. So yeah. <clears throat> that's the Well, I think everybody reason. can wear periwinkle. Absolutely. Everybody Love looks good in it. Love periwinkle. Yes. Yeah. Everybody looks good in it. Yes. So I can understand that. That makes sense. Yeah. So if you were shopping for a mug and you and you were down to deciding between an orange and purple one, you would choose the purple one. You're getting lots of hearts over here. <laughs> it depends on the graphics now. If it's just a solid <laughs> solid, solid colored mug. Let's say solid. Oh, okay. Um Probably, oh, that's a hard one. I was going to say purple, but I thought, you know what? Orange would be pretty. I'm terrible. I, I, we are just sounding yeah, the depths of your audience. soul here. Yeah. Ellen says you fooled her with that orange butterfly. Because you've got your orange butterfly right there. Well, you said blue and white plus two. So I have to do the butterfly in orange. And then I have to do the green. So do, do two shades of this blue okay? Or is that an extra color? I think, 
I, I think you're probably in the same family. I think you're safe. <clears throat> if I could take Thankfully the butterfly out. You don't have out, to send out Deputy Heidi. Yikes. She, she's always ready, too. She's got the badge, Linda. She's got the badge. Uh-oh. I was going to yep. say, hey, Deputy Heidi, did I say how nice you craft? <laughs> Can I butter her up? <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> she does do a great <laughs> job. She does. She's not just a tough law, law enforcement agent. She's also a good crafter. <laughs> we also have another police oh. person. What do, do we do? What? I'm I just... a pearl. Oh, Mr. Producer's making a poll. Um, we also have, what was I going to say? We also have another law enforcement agency, which is our craft roulette police chief, which is Mr. Uh -oh. Producer. And he's terribly corrupt. Oh. Terribly corrupt. <laughs> so, yeah, you can, all, you can butter him up completely. Okay. Well, I have to say, Mr. Producer is awesome in that <laughs> where I don't have to worry about the technology part. Mm -hmm. Because I can break, I've been known to break the internet. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <trying. laughs> it's Keep not a trying. pretty sight. That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you're doing pretty good now. I think we're on a roll. I think Eunice went to bed. I think she's got a headache. No, you guys are too good for me. I'm out of here. Ooh, that might have been a mistake. Doing some little fill in. Is Amanda in the chat room? <clears throat> oh, yeah. She has been. Oh. She, she's yeah. the one that I spilled the paint with, so... <laughs> That is, that's like the moment, isn't it? It's your moment. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Isn't that something? But you sh don't be defined by your problems. <laughs> oh, no. It's, no. It's a skill. It's a special there talent. You go. <laughs> I don't see my problems as, as, as a problem. I see it as a skill. Being yeah. able to uh, to go through that is definitely worthwhile. Oh, looky there. We've got a new craft roulette poll up. And right now we have 59% voting Team Purple and 41% voting Team Orange. Come on, Orange! <laughs> Don't leave me. Don't leave me in a purple sea. Gosh, you guys are pretty... Well, 59, 41, that's not that even. Listening. Isn't that interesting? That's right. If you have not looked at chat and you are listening, we got a poll for you. So and your how team did this orange. Poll, how did the purple orange thing come about? <laughs> well, I it's in the I just say it's on the website at this point, but it was just a matter of the wheel was choosing purple more than or orange more than people like. They started grumping and grousing a little bit. <laughs> so um, it turned out those people tended to like purple more than they liked orange. And so we just started going, okay, there's two teams here. I'm seeing this development here. So let's just develop. <laughs> so we just took off with it. <laughs> and it has been fun. It really is. It's just a it's a fun little team orange team purple but we're mostly just team fun f-u-n-n -N. oh yeah michelle you're done oh you're practicing for next week when you're on huh okay so you're we're gonna have to have a simple card when you're here <laughs> so that's okay i'll having figure a it out issue. i'm just i'm just having so slow and slowly doing this yours looks Taking almost my, done Taking my time. Oh, you know, you can almost always add a little something. <clears throat> so I'm just adding little somethings. Maybe throw some, you know, I could do some little, I wonder what that would look like. Okay, I'm going to fix this guy. There we go. Maybe we can add some little Ooh. sticky out things. Okay, four by six. It's for some interest. Kind of stupid, but kind of cool. 
So you you were looking for Little Chubby? <laughs> were you looking in the internet to I see was, what Little Chubby was? I was trying to figure out what in the <laughs> world is a Little Chubby. It's like, um, um, okay. Yeah, and it, I don't have anything else for you except for that I just made it up. And it's because <laughs> I didn't love slim lines. I didn't... I. They're just too skinny. And so I wanted a little something with a little more meat or donuts. And so Little Chubby was born. And I really liked the size of Little Chubby. And then Little Chubby is like an 8 by 4. And then this is a mini Chubby. And it's a 6 by 4. And don't you think it's a nice size? It's a nice size. I like it. It's almost an A2, except it's just a little bit longer. So it's not as dramatic a change <clears throat> for the A2 crowd. Yeah. To adapt to. I don't want to throw them under the bus. We want them to enjoy crafting. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's, hey, what that's are the, that nonsense. But what are the odds that she'll pick, or the, the wheel would <laughs> pick a little chubby? <laughs> I don't need to know what that is. Little I'm just Chubby trying to fake the, it. The wheel knows. He knows your weakness. Yeah. And he he yeah. will I don't know, not always. Sometimes he'll just, you know, throw you oh yeah, let's just have an easy night. But then there are other times he goes, you know, we haven't done something a little different for a while, so let's try it. Just never know what's on his mind, but he always knows eventually that we're going to get some good stuff out of it. Max Macias has a question for you, and I'm interested yes. in the answer, too. <clears throat> he asks, do you listen to music when you craft? Um, I, I would if I could. It sounds really okay. funny, but my, my... This desk that I'm working at is located more in my living room area or my my main room, and my um, computer with the music's in the other room. Oh, and so I would every once in a while I would put on some music and um, and may, I have wireless headphones, so uh -huh. I will walk around listening. I would okay. love to be able to do it more often, but. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm being real here. It's like <laughs> right, right. It's as priorities go. You're not hooking it up on your own, and yeah. So you and, live with the way I, it is. Well, and the other thing too is for me running around constantly with. I'd have to definitely wear headphones because jumping up and going off and doing something. I can't. Right. You know, it's. It gets complex. Just, I don't know why. Yes, I should Story say of my so. Life. <laughs> oh, so if you did listen to it, what would you listen to? Oh, okay. That's very... Let's talk hypotheticals. Yeah. I like... I always said that I have a very wide range, so it mm -hmm. could be... Um, uh, hip hop. It could be uh, like I don't know what Taylor Swift it would be. Um, I listen to mm -hmm. some of these artists on um, Smule, uh, oh, which is like one. yeah, it's it's like where um, it's like karaoke, <laughs> but people do it really really well. I mean, oh, very okay. professionally. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's done very professionally, and it there's some people there that I would buy their music if if they sold it, but because they do it to um, other people's cover, so it's it you know it might be another artist, but they do their rendition of it. Sure. So and there's some variety to that, and I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> Just want to say. That's I've just hit that good. point <laughs> as we're talking, and it's like, I'm just sticking stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> what is your what is your um, strategy for this card? Just stick stuff down, dang it. 
<laughs> and do a S- good job I of sticking. Do the typical SSD. Stick stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> I Sounds might have to go to vertical. Me. Okay. Where's my... There it is. Okay. All right. I think we're going to... I don't want to stamp on this because it's too late in the ball game here for me to stamp on this guy. So we're going to do something else. I'm going to add some interest without any ink. I W I. And I didn't just, do a very okay. good job at gluing this down, so I can stick this under. <laughs> it's like I fooled oh. myself somehow or other. I'm like, yes, I tricked <laughs> myself. <laughs> it worked. And I love it that you're surprised. It's like, oh. <laughs> sure. It's like every morning when I get up, hey, I got up. I tricked myself into getting up. Yes. Way to go, Mary. Kiss your brain. Do- Let's do this. I'm surprised your dogs <laughs> don't get you up. <laughs> they don't, though. Well, every once in a while, somebody will let Boomer in. They don't sleep in the same room. Oh, okay. So I think that helps <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Yeah. My dog does this thing where she will come over. She... She knows she can't wake me up very easily, so she's patient for a while. And then when she's desperate, she will come over and she will claw or jump on me. As oh, they, brother. You know, we really have to get up now, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Gigs up, Ma. Let's move it. Yeah. Is it breakfast time usually when that happens? No, it's They're walking like, time. Oh, you walk it's, first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we breakfast first. <laughs> ah. I don't think mine would be patient enough. She's like, no, we got to go now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably should have hot glue, but I'm not going to do it. So, Roberta Sadler, Mrs. Birthday Hi, Bob. Hi, Roberta. <laughs> She's got kind of a paragraph here. But she says, Linda. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge of die cutting with current products on the market now. I'm so glad you designed non-warping cutting plates that not only work with your new die cutting machine, but works with other many others. All that to ask, <laughs> all that to ask you, what inspired you to come up with this cutting plate platform and your die cutting machine? Sorry, she says, sorry we will miss your debut on Craft Roulette. Promise that we will catch the re- or watch the replay. Hugs and enjoy your time on Craft Roulette. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> told you so it was a sweet. paragraph. <laughs> yes, she <laughs> is. Yes, she is. Um, you know, uh, thanks, one. Robert, for asking. The thing that I, that is the most fun with what I do is I can, it's like problem solving for yourself. So, you know, again, working for years with the hard cutting pads at Sizzix, and um, I'm frugal. I really am. So I would use them, and they'd be like salad bowls. But, you know, even though I could get some sometimes for, you know, when they were doing a giveaway, I could get them for free. But I would keep using them, even if they were salad bowls. And I thought, right. Got to get some more use out of these. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, what if it could be, you know... I didn't like the crackly noise and I didn't like the um, the warping and everything. Um, so I thought, what if? And mm-hmm. so that idea was born. And so our first iMen deck is a softer one that uh, just mends itself. So you can keep using it over and over. Um, oh. Then it became something where I wanted something that didn't warp. So you know how the salad bowl idea, I wanted something that stayed flatter, but it needed, it needed a couple more years of R&D kind of thing. So it took a little bit longer, but it really is a wonderful tool, Um, but it was born out of necessity. You know, it's like, I'm tired of replacing these things. 
I want is something this, that'll last and not. Is this what you're right. talking about? Salad bowl? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Let me show you. Yeah. Okay. It's bad. I just can't so, count the days. And every time it works, I go, oh, good. This is the oh, one. Yeah. This is a diamond deck that is self mending, but it doesn't go, it doesn't warp. And I've been using this, and I've even used Sweet. this in the Gemini Junior mm -hmm. and all different kinds of machines, and it just holds up. So it's That's definitely one of those things where necessity was the mother of invention. <laughs> yeah, better mousetrap is always a better, is a good yep. thing. Yep. So. Well done. And that that kind of is the... You know, earlier you asked, like, how do I come up with designs? It really is just a matter of, huh, I wish I had, you know, a die right. that did this. I wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not so hard. That's pretty easy. But, you know, it isn't that easy, is it? <laughs> it's just, you have no. to give yourself so, quite a bit of headspace to be able to come yeah. up with some ideas like that. Yeah. It's, it's... And then, you know, the other funny thing, well, I don't know how funny this is, but um, <laughs> we launched our company in 2020, January of 2020. Oh, and brother. I don't know if you've heard of this little pandemic or something that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard something about like, that. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought it was rumor, but then I heard it was real. No, but yeah, so we launched... We launched at the pandemic, during the pandemic, and it was, you know, the, it was like, how, how can we do this? Every year right. that we could have launched a company, like, okay. Right. So. Well, it seemed to work. But actually, it might. What? It worked. It worked, yes. It was, it was unusual. <laughs> To say the least. <laughs> that okay. is I'm trying to remember kidding. what periwinkles look like or um forget me nots. I don't remember. I don't I don't I know I don't know why, but I know they were um Princess Diana's favorite flower, so <laughs> oh, little tidbit there. there. <laughs> Oh, Diana. Boy. So my, my boyfriend is English, from England. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I saw on the list was potentially UK, like, uh -huh. I can't <laughs> fail this. I got to do something amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, because um, Leslie Oman was on, and so we put it on there for her. But when I yeah. was thinking about all the things you could do with UK, yes. I went, oh, yep. I want to keep it until we get it or or until something happens. I don't know what. But, something happens. But I think I'm going to, yeah, I liked it because you could do so much. You really can do yes. a lot. So, hey, this um, is okay. This is, oh, I can put this one on oh. the inside, too. We're just having a good night here. I have one more question, and it is our thoughtful question of the day from our super rock star, Grandma Gay. Oh, she's so good. She asks, if, you, if I came to you with a new interactive card idea, described it, and, you, and gave you permission to use it, would you picture it in your mind? just from the description, or would you say, sketch it out so I can picture it? Hmm. I guess it depends on how complex. Because um, sometimes, sometimes it just might be too complex. So mm -hmm. it's like, I wanted to do this and this and this and this and this. and But only right. when this happens. And that takes a little... That takes a lot of time of playing with it. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that answers the question. There's. No, it's a hard question. It's. Yeah. So if it were a very simple design, you could probably follow it. But some of your de designs, your dye designs are pretty 
complicated. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. it does get so complex. That I can see. And then, yeah. And then yeah. other times it could be like, hey, I want a um, box card that folds open and these things are in it. Then it's like, oh, okay, then that's, <laughs> you know, it, a box card's been kind of done before. It's just altering the shape kind of thing. So uh -huh. it just depends. Yeah. The other hard thing, too, is that um, the uh, the the it's a double skill. It's not just coming up with the idea. There's a lot of technical parts in the drawing of it. So oh. you know, people tell me, "Oh, <laughs> I have this design," but then it's up to you know. Then they're expecting me to sit down and draw it out, which you know, there's yeah. no. Um, they haven't thought that part through yet, so. Right, right. So it's, I don't know if that answered Thank the you, question. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, no, it makes sense. She's just saying, are you visual or auditory, kind of, is what she's saying in the chat oh, box. So. Definitely more visual. Yeah, I would think so. And Amanda says that your oval box card is awesome. I think... I think I, I think yeah. I may have a card from Amanda. Oh, I don't have it here. Yeah. Thank you, Amanda. Yes, that was that was that was funny because it's a card that pops up and creates a hold together box kind of thing. And when I was designing it, the bottom just wasn't coming out right, so I actually just had to sit at the bottom down on my scanner scan it and see what I was missing, what section, and then redrew it from the scan. So, you know, oh sometimes gosh. it's as, as basic as that. <laughs> okay, now I hope this is yours because this is the one I'm thinking of. So is this yours? Yeah, that's it. Yes, yeah. this is the card that Amanda sent me. And Isn't that, was that amazing? Guy. She just, oh, but she made it so cute. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. That would work. She, it really, I could have, Amanda, you have a week off almost. You could just send, do you have a picture? You want me to send you a picture? It's almost is, the right size. Yeah, it is that almost is the right size. Golly. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I love that. I have to say, Amanda is just amazing. She thinks she is. totally outside the box. What box? That's what Amanda says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What box? Yeah, I think you're right. That's good. How is our poll? Oh, my goodness. The purples are pulling away like crazy, like a team of horses. I can't stand it. I'm just going about to rip my heart out here. Purple is 68% to orange, 32. Come on, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, crafters and craftettes. Let's get some orange in there. What are my squiggles? Um, My squiggles, Kathy, were this gold pen on my card, on my flowers. Can you see them? There they are. Those are my squiggles. And I have some squiggles on the, on the pot, too. <laughs> yeah, Sire, I think you're right. The pole's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Yes, Amanda's... Do you ever do light-up cards? Do I? Uh-huh. I I have Amanda has has um helped me work through some light up cards. I Yeah. She, I have a couple. Oh. Here's one with some bugs. And it has Oh, that the, is so cute. Yeah. Her lights that was, are just hers, amazing. They're so easy. And here's one of the robots. <laughs> And oh, that is his, so cute. That was oh! a three for so here, here, and here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. That and is then cute. there's oh, a I little love... camper. And so you knock at the door and say, knock, knock. And they say, oh, I'm going to turn on the light just a minute. Who's there? Oh, that and is adorable. Then this little owly lights up his eyes. Where is that? There it is. Who wants to know? Her lights. So, yeah, they're her, fun. Just I, awesome. I obviously don't send my cards. 
They're just right here in my 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 little sack. <laughs> I still have some things to play with in here too, Amanda. I need to get on with it. Full pity psych. I know. They're so they're just a they're a, it's a winning product. It is from Pear Blossom Press. Is, and it's a wonderful yes. product. Absolutely okay, Kathy amazing. Pisapati. The poll is not right on the money. I love you, girl, but the poll is not right on the money. <laughs> it is now sixty-seven to thirty-three percent. Oh God! How's your card coming? It's coming along, almost done. I just need. It is I just very need pretty. To, thank you. I need to add. I mean, it's a card. It needs some words, a sentiment. Not sure what. Well, you know, while you pick your sentiment and just wrap that up, we've got a little bit to do and um, like tell people how they can play with us, who's coming up. There you go. Um, that sort of thing. And then we can meet up with you at the end and you can show us your card. All almost okay. finished or all finished. And so once we're <laughs> off, we'll let you go ahead and change your camera. I, I, oh, he's okay. doing that. Okay, Mr. Producer's doing yeah. that because he likes to spoil us okay. and we like to be spoiled. So, <laughs> if you want to play along and so that you are eligible to win some of these wonderful prizes from our spin sponsors, please do this. Complete a unique project using all four of those parameters. Don't go outside the parameters, but you can stretch them to the very limits of the universe. And then you have um, 48 hours till Sunday at midnight, or if you're a patron, Thursday. That's a lot of time. Thursday at midnight. Put it, it just submit it to crashroulette.live and um, there's a form there. It's real easy to follow. If it doesn't, and then when you get through with it, you'll get confetti. <laughs> so look for the confetti. You don't have to look for the email um, anymore, but just look for the confetti. If you get to the, you know, you've, you've gotten your card sent in. And that is the, the mechanism so that you will be on the show next Friday in the um, slideshow that starts at 6.10 Central Daylight Time and will also be on the website forever and ever. So join us. It's fun. If you have never tried us, try us. It's fun. We'd love to see what you have up. What's up your sleeve? We have some wonderful upcoming guests. We've got Michelle Lupton from Australia next week. Michelle or Monica Taylor. I can't read. After that, Amanda Stevens. We'll be talking some lights then. And then Charlene Madrid and Crafty Al. There's somebody else in there, but I haven't put her in. So join us each and every Friday evening at 630. If you can't, make sure you catch the replay. If you haven't done that thumbs up thing, that would be fabulous too. We do talk about our patrons a lot, and we do look forward to seeing you tomorrow. The patrons that have the pink circles mean that they have been on patrons for longer than anybody else. And the all the little numbers are how many months they have been with us as a patron. We do so totally appreciate your your. Um, generosity and support and saying, hey, I like this show. We do it free, but we do have expenses and like a big history of expenses. So it's awesome when you guys come alongside and say, let's do this. Plus, we do extra fun stuff over on our patron blog. There's some cool stuff over there that I, I don't know. I don't know. It's Mr. Producer. He'd kiss, he has a very well-kissed brain and he just uses it to benefit us all. He's always coming up with stuff. <laughs> he's, just, just, he's just crazy good. So do consider joining us, even if it's for a couple months. It'd be great. We'd love you. And tomorrow, you can join us for the all Patreon Zoom call, which will be so freaking chaotic. Whew. First hundred comes in. After that, sorry. I think that's all I have on Zoom is a hundred. So, be there early. And Leslie, who will be a zero hero this month, will be letting you in. Won't you, Leslie and Brownie? That means it's giveaway time. See, I'm into confetti. I really am. That means, the confetti means it is giveaway time. And we give away great stuff each and every week to our people that send in cards. So, um, the, if, your name, if you send in a card last week, your name is going to be on that board. 
and we're going to spin it here in just a second for some of our original gifts and some of our giveaways from our spin sponsors. So what are we going to give away first? Mr. Producer. The craft roulette goodie bag. This mostly just has to stay in the United States because it's too expensive. But our do our viewers send in a lot. I'm almost overwhelmed at this point, guys. You might hold off just a little bit because I've got that whole corner over there has got giveaways. But um, we have a lot of do wonderful donations. I stuffed those bags with a couple stamp sets, some embossing folders, stencils, ribbon, all sorts of stuff. Stuff I don't even know what it is. <laughs> so I sent it out there. And, oh, the first goodie bag's going to Kay Wearer. Yay for you. She's U.S. I didn't know he went spinning. Shall we do another, sir? I get these mailed the next week, usually, so. <laughs> You'll set up your tent outside Zoom. Take, get in queue. <laughs> That's funny. I hope you make it. I hope you make it. Lisa Taylor, we oh, she's a good. She'll probably be on the call tomorrow. It, it, oh, it's just one pixel off from Sheila. Sorry, Sheila. Keep sending those cards in. Maybe you'll get a pixel closer. You never know. How about a handmade card with a nitty bitty gift? That is the original giveaway that we started when the show started. Not always are they my handmade cards either, because I also have some beautiful cards from our viewers. And sometimes you get those. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I think it's going to be Supreme. Supreme. I need to have everybody contact me using the contact form on craftroulette.live before midnight on Sunday with your address or whatever needs to be told to me. So, please do that. Hey, we're going to give away a $25 gift certificate to some some company called iCrafter. You know what the make what they make. They you can get some doggy stamp or dies, kitty dies and be like me. <laughs> we can send each other kitty dies. We love kitties here on Craft Roulette. We do. And doggies. How oh, fun. Sherry Pemberton from down the street in Harrisonville, Missouri. Oh, she's not going to like that at all. Oh, she's going to love that. That's what she's going to do. That's great. Congratulations, Sherry. Let make, make sure you let me know. And I will get that information to you this weekend. And for the $25 gift certificate to Sweet November Stamps, she's got cuties, guys. She's got some really cute stamps. Look at that. Oh, and last week's card was made with her stamps. There's it's very it again, but it won't work. The... <laughs> so that's a one in one hundred forty-three. That's one in one hundred and forty-three chance of that happening. We only give you once a show. Oh, Sherry's out there going whoop whoop. Isn't that great? I'm, I'm so glad for you. That's cool. Marie Stewart. Marie. I love it. I love it. I don't... I love it. It's just so much fun to give everybody else's stuff away. Make sure you let me know. Then I will send you the information on how to use your gift certificate from Sweet November Stamps. Thank you, guys. Keep those cards coming in because that's how you win. And we look forward to... Plus, we just like looking at stuff from you guys so much. Are you ready, Linda? Great. Come can, on back. Well, can I add you some, do? Can I add something here? We are also offering a 20% discount oh, that's on right. our website if you use the coupon code CRAFTROULETTE20. Right? Yeah, CRAFTROULETTE20. It's good for, um, I think we're doing it for two weeks. So okay. you need to register on our site first. So you can, when you purchase, you can put right. that coupon code in and get 20% off. Um, there are a few exceptions, but um, pretty much all the dies and stamps are 20% off. And they're so cute. That's for you. And you viewers. can make all sorts of remarkable things that make people go, oh, how'd she do that? Do you think those harder, those more like that Amanda card, do you think that's hard to put together? You have... 
And do you have like videos of you making things like that? Mm -hmm. It actually is extremely um, easy. That box pop card is extremely easy. It just looks complex. It does and look complex. That, <laughs> it it isn't. I just did a um, what did I do it on? Some some. I just showed it really simply, and it's it's like four folds and one glue point on oh, wow. to make half of it, and then you glue the two halves together. Well, that's not so it's, bad. And yeah, make sure you can go to iCrafters website or YouTube, yeah. which is down in the description, and subscribe yeah. so that you don't miss a minute. And when you do get those dies, then you can find the tutorials on those things and yes. and become an expert overnight. Just put the yeah. that die under your pillow, and in the morning you can make it right. Yeah. You don't, you don't yeah. even have to do that kind of voodoo, do you? You just you just it's that easy. It really is extremely simple. It just looks more complex. It does look complex. Well, show us what you ended up with. Why don't you? Okay. Is it top camera or front camera? Oh, I he can it's front do top. Camera. He can do top. Oh, oh. okay. Because we haven't talked about it. So, okay. Whoa, the lighting that's cool. is terrible. These are my um, forget me nots and my little orange butterfly and Aww. my squiggles. It's my doodle flowers are in the background, and <laughs> can you see it? It's white on white, huh? so I just wanted to make sure it was subtle, but there. That's and good. then I just took some greenery leaves and glued the majority down in back, but I left some sticking up, so it nice. just adds more dimension. Uh huh. It is pretty. So, and I ended up doing all stamping die or no die cutting but all fussy cutting and uh just did stamping and my squiggles are the gold in the flowers and then i ended up putting in some little i don't know what those are called but i think in floral terms they do have something sprays or something that they call those but uh my four colors then are white blue gold and green so and then my neutrals so anyway that's it that's it for the the show and yeah. the cards. Hey, that was, was it hard? Fun. Was it hard? Um, no, it was actually very fun. It was okay. It, I think the stress leading up to it, not knowing, <laughs> it was more than just the fun of doing this. Again, mm -hmm. any excuse to sit and craft. I love it. Right. Right. <laughs> That's a win-win right there. Yeah. Yes. Well, you did yes. real it, well. You did real well, and oh, I enjoyed your company a lot. Oh, and I appreciate uh, both you and Mr. Producer for um, having me on the show. Just had a blast. Just love Yay. it. Yay. Yay. It's not hard. Sometimes, no. And you didn't spill anything. You did great. Yeah, I, and since you did I, great, I, you know what? Phone up. Yeah, the phone update. Don't forget that. But <laughs> Eunice. But since you did great, that just means it is time to kiss your brain. <laughs> That's right. Because <laughs> you got through it. And it's great. You've, it's the weekend. You can celebrate. You can craft a little bit, have some fun, relaxing. I think watching the show again, I always watch the show because I, I'm so in. <laughs> so involved I don't get to read the chatterbox or anything so I like to see what they're doing and it looks like they had a nice time I think I saw Gwen saying it was nice to spend some time with the chatterbox ladies so and gentlemen we have 100 votes yes. we have a percent purple cheapers 100 votes 68 percent purple 32 percent orange I've got some work to do I am gonna start going on campaign it is in the United States. It, it we've got November voting. I think we may have to do this. Is just like the primary. We may have to come back and have the general voting in November second Tuesday. <laughs> because I am going to go out there and campaign, kiss orange babies, and all sorts of things. Whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. So, thank you guys for being here tonight, Chatterboxes. Mr. Producer, as always, I appreciate your work so much. And I just love you because you're my son. Linda, thank you so much. It was thank a you. true pleasure. And thank you for being a spin sponsor. Let us know if you won a prize. Y'all stay safe. Have a great weekend. Know that we love you much.
and good night.